Father, our God, we want to say thank you. We bless you for the month of January. We bless you for the month of February. March, you were there for us. You saw us through the month of April. You saw us through the month of May. June, July, August, you were awesome. Thank you for this month of September. Lord, we give you all the glory. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We have come as we've always come to seek you early, knowing that those people that seek you early find you. Lord, as we have come this early hour of the day, Father, we pray each and every one of us, even in our various homes, in our lives, let us find you in the name of Jesus. And let this month of September and every ember month this year produce its fruit for us in the name of Jesus. Let there be great harvest from all that we have sown even since the beginning of this year. And at the end, let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. I want to congratulate you if you can hear me this morning wherever you are watching and wherever you are listening. Thank God that you are here in the month of September. God has been awesome since the beginning of this year. But I've come to announce to us this morning in the early hours of the new month that whatsoever that has been bottled up for good for you in this year, in this month of September, it shall be opened up in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, this month is our month of overflow. Overflow of God's blessing, God's miracle. Overflow of answered prayers. Because some of us have prayed and prayed and prayed. The Holy Spirit wants me to let you know that this month, there will be an overflow for you. And that's what you are going to be receiving this morning, is the anointing to overflow. You can call it overflow anointing. I'll be reading from the book of Psalm number 23, from verse 5 to 6. Psalm number 23, from verse 5 to 6. The Bible said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can I hear you say, Amen? Our God is a God of details. And our God is a God of accuracy. If you look at the scripture, even from the beginning, when God asked Noah to construct an ark, he gave in specification, in detail, every measurement that this ark has to be built on. The same applied to Moses when he was to build the temple in the wilderness. And even if you go further, when God rained the manna, for the Israelites in the desert, he asked them to only take just enough for each day. You can see that in the book of Exodus chapter number 16, from verse 16 to 19. Exodus chapter 16, from verse 16 to 19. So that can make us to conclude that our God can provide for you just enough that which is needed. He told them, don't take more than what you can eat. What more than what your family do some of them disobeyed and they find out that what they kept could not be hit in the second day because they saw warm on them but when it comes to anointing and blessing his children our God does it without measure that's why I am sure in this ember month the blessing that God will be pouring on you it will be without measure in the name of Jesus. Because God will always reveal himself as the El Shaddai. 
That is the God that is more than enough when it comes to blessing his own children. The scripture says in the book of Ephesians chapter number 3 verse 20. Ephesians chapter number 3 verse 20. He said, now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to, that, to the power that worketh in us. That is, our God is the God of overflow. When you ask him in prayer, when he's answering you, he's doing more than what you are asking. Even the Bible went further that even your thoughts that you could not even project or you could not even communicate physically, the Lord sees that thought, he meets you at the point of your thought and even does beyond your imagination. That's our God, our God of overflow. So I prophesy to your life, all that you have been asking for, all that you have been sowing for in this month of September, that starts the month of em the ember month in this year, there shall be an overflow for you in the name of Jesus. Because God will reveal himself to you as the El Shaddai, the God that is more than enough. You can see God in the scripture walking as the God of overflow. For example, when you go into the book of John, chapter number 2, and you read from verse 1 to 11, John chapter number 2, from verse 1 to 11, when the wine in the marriage was finished, they came to Jesus, asked him that the wine is finished. Expecting him to give, I don't know, the mother of Jesus understand what Jesus could do, but maybe just for him to just make up for what is remaining. But if you look at what happened in that scripture, and you analyze the drum <coughs> that was, that, <coughs> excuse me, you analyze the drum of water that Jesus turned into wine, it was 162 gallons, equivalent to 700 liters of wine. That's an overflow. More than what they needed to end that marriage. I don't know what is lacking in your life. By the reason of the anointing of God that is coming upon you this morning, there shall be an overflow for where your lack has been in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of John, chapter number 6, you read from verse 3 to 13, John chapter number 6, from verse 3 to 13, the Bible said that he fed multitude with just two fish, fishes and five loaves of bread. And that was not enough because our God is the El Shaddai. He proved himself beyond feeding them with minor things, with two fishes and five breads. The Bible said there was 12 baskets extra from this month. I don't know what you have suffered in this year. I don't know the lack that you have suffered this year in any area of your life. You will have enough and you will have extra in the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at the book of 2 Kings chapter number 4, verse 1 to 7, I'm just showing you where God has moved as El Shaddai because there's nothing, our, he is a God of overflow. You look at the life of a widow in that book of 2 Kings chapter number 4 from verse 1 to 7. The widow only asked for help to pay her debt so her children would not be sold into slavery. But God gave her overflow that made her to pay her debt and she had more than enough to live with her children for the rest of their life because God is a God of overflow. Look at what the scripture says in the book of John chapter number 10 verse 10. John chapter number 10 verse 10. The last part of it. The Bible says, I have come. That's Jesus said, I, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Not just abundantly, but more abundantly. So when Christ came, he came to give us life. And when we talk about life, we talk about good health. We talk about freedom from demonic oppression. We talk about freedom from death. We talk about financial freedom. We talk, he became poor. So we can be rich. He did not just come to give us life. But the Bible said that he came to give us in abundance and more abundantly. Can I announce to you in this month? As you partake in this anointing, as you go through this ember month, everything that you need, God will provide abundantly in the name of Jesus. And when
when you look at the scripture that we read in Psalm 23 verse 5, the Bible said that when the Lord was pouring the anointing and it was running over, maybe the psalmist would have said that, oh God, ah, this thing is already pouring out. It's a waste. No, 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 no. It is not a wastage. God proved himself that he's a God overflow. But to let you know this, that what is coming your way is more than what you can undo. The blessing that is coming your way is more than what you alone can take. It's more than what you can just keep under your cloth or under your covering or under your roof alone. It's a blessing that will flow through you to others. That's the God that we serve and that's what God has determined to do. That what God is about to do in your life, it will not just be for you. It will be more than enough for you, but it will overflow to everyone that comes in contact with you in this month in the name of Jesus. The anointing that is coming on you and your household this season is not just for you to be healed, but he has come so that the healing can flow from you to others. The anointing is not just for you to be free, but so that you can bring freedom to other people. It's not just for you to be fruitful so that you can experience multiplication. That's what God is saying is going to do. His anointing is more than just, it's not just for enough, but more than enough. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. That is your joy in this month of September. We overflow. See what the scripture says in Psalm 16 verse 11. He said, in thy presence is fullness of joy. Psalm 16 11. And thy right hand there are pleasure forevermore. That this, this is not going to be for a season. It's going to flow, overflow to your generation unborn. That is your wealth. We overflow. That's what the scripture says. And in the book of Deuteronomy 20, 28 verse 12, Deuteronomy 28 verse 12, the Bible says, the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. Can I hear amen from somebody? The heaven to give rain unto the land in a season and to bless all the works of thy hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. That's an overflowing blessing, overflowing wealth from the Lord. In this month of September, you will experience overflowing wealth from God because it's your God that giveth power to make wealth. And because our God is a God overflow, it will not just be enough for you. You have been under what I can call just enough, but you are moving from that realm, from this ember month, you are entering to an overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. Your peace will overflow because what Jesus promised us, the peace that God is going to give to you is a peace that the world cannot understand. That's why your peace will overflow to everyone that come in contact with you. The anointing that is coming over your head, just like David, is going to be anointing that will overflow, not just for you, but it will meet your need, it will meet the need of your family, it will meet the needs of your friends, it will meet the need of everyone that comes around you, it will even meet the needs of those people that you work for. You can ask Joseph, he was in a strange land, but the God of overflow was with him. And by that, the, even those people that knew not God, they confess that God is with this man. And since he came into their household, they were blessed because it carries an overflow. Your life will be an overflowing blessing, even from this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me conclude so that we can pray. To receive God's overflow, you need to empty yourself so that He can fill you up. Empty yourself of unbelief, empty yourself of sinful habits. Empty yourself of denying the power and the grace of God. Be willing to obey all his instruction this season. In this ember month, I trust God just like we pray on Sunday. Every embargo that has been placed upon your life is being lifted. Is already lifted because God has gone ahead of you. Jesus has gone ahead of you into this month. But you must obey his instructions. He said, bring you all time. Don't, this is not the time for you to struggle with God in your financial deals. Don't struggle with him. And when you are willing to obey, then God is ready to pour out his overflow. This year is 
ending in overflow for you and your family in the name of Jesus. This year is ending in overflow. Your business will overflow. Your glory will overflow. Your joy will overflow. Your life will overflow. I'm going to, we're going to be praying shortly now. And I want you to pray with all your say, Don't forget that this is the early hours of the month. And not just a month alone. It's an ember month. September, October, November, December. It's a time of harvest. To harvest what God, what you have planted. And the grace of God is coming upon you. So you have to pray. And pray with understanding. That's why I've shared with you. God is a God of overflow. And after praying, I believe you have your oil around you. The word of the Lord will go into that oil. And by the time you apply it, every situation will answer to the anointing of God that you are receiving this morning in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are in your home, I want you to rise up. Don't just sit down. This time you are going to pray. You are going to pray. I want you to say, Father, thank you for all you have done for me and that which you are set to do. Go ahead and begin to appreciate God. Appreciate this God of overflow. Appreciate this God that can do more than what you can ever ask or think. Appreciate the God of more than enough. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Father, thank you for all you have done for me and all that you are set to do. Give him praise. 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 Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Blessed be the name of God. Blessed be the name of God. Blessed be the name of God. In Jesus' name, we have worshiped. You are going to lift up your voice to pray. You are going to say, Father, empty my life to receive your overflow. Every debt that has filled your life, every negative thing that has filled your life needs to go out so that new things can come in and for it to overflow. Say, Father, empty my life to receive your overflow. By the reason of your anointing, empty my life to receive your overflow. Empty my life to receive your overflow. Everything that is not of you in my system. Everything that is not of you in my marriage. Everything that is not of you in my career. Everything that is not of not of you in my life. Father, let it be emptied, oh God, so that your overflow can come in. Father, let your overflow come in into my life. Let your overflow come into my home. Let your overflow come into my business. Let your overflow of blessing, financial breakthrough, come into my situation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. You are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, every embargo, place on my destiny removed by fire in the name of Jesus. Don't forget the anointing of God is like fire. Every embargo placed on my destiny in this month of September, let it be removed by fire. Removed by fire. Removed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every word, every embargo, every words of man that has stagnated is your children listening to me now. Father, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it be consumed. Let that embargo be lifted. Let the embargo be removed by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray because the scripture says, If ye are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If you can obey the instruction of God, then destruction cannot come your way. Then you will avoid destruction. You will be able to enter into the overflow of God. You are going to speak because when Isaac had the instruction of God, he stayed in the land, he planted and he experienced an overflow. You are going to say, Father, in this month of September, help me to obey you all the way. Help me to obey you all the way. It takes obedience to receive of God. It takes obedience to experience the God of overflow. It takes obedience to experience the El Shaddai. Father, help me to obey you all the way in this month of September even for the rest of this year so that what you have cooked for me can I can receive them in the name of Jesus pray father help me to obey you all the way in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray father help me to obey you all the way 
help me to obey you all the way in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we are prayed you are going to lift up your voice and pray you are going to say father by your anointing break the yoke of poverty permanently in my life and family by your anointing break the yoke of poverty permanently in my life and my family lift up your voice and pray of the anointing, your people are receiving this morning. Let every yoke of poverty, spiritual poverty, material poverty, financial poverty, career poverty, idea poverty, let that yoke be broken because your word shall by the reason of the anointing, the yoke shall be broken. Every yoke of poverty in the life of your people, even in this month of September that you want to remember them for good, let the yoke of poverty be broken. Every spiritual poverty that makes them not to follow the path of righteousness. Father, let that yoke be broken. Every financial yoke be broken by the reason of the anointing. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I told you that when we talk about overflow, it's not just for you. It's more than what you can undo alone. It's what will flow into your life. Then flow through you to everyone that comes in contact with you. You are going to lift up your voice. You are going to pray with all your strength you are going to say father help me so that i can help the helpless say father help me so i can help the helpless in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray father help me let the overflow comes into my life and let me be a source let me be a, a, a vessel by which your blessing will flow to those people that need help father help me Help me. If God will not help you, no man can help you. Father, help me so that I can help the helpless in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You are going to say, Father, release your blessing into my empty vessels. Release your blessing into my empty vessel. Lift up your voice and pray. That woman got empty vessel all around and she was pouring the oil and by the anointing of God, the vessel we have been filled up to overflow. The, the vessel we have been filled up because she released it. Father, I release my vessel unto you. I release my business unto you. I release my family unto you. Father, please let your blessing be released into them. Let your blessing be released into my car. Let your blessing be released into my home. Let your blessing be released into my marriage. Let your blessing be released into my relationship. Let your blessing be released into my vessels. Everything that you have given to me, hey, but the vessel I borrowed. Father, let your blessing be released. Let your blessing be released. Let your blessing be released. It is the blessing of God that make it rich without adding sorrow. Father, let your blessing release upon my vessel. Thank you, Father. Lastly, you are going to pray this prayer with all your strength. You are going to say, Father, anoint me with overflowing grace and let me begin to touch lives around me. Anoint me with overflowing grace. Let me begin to touch lives everywhere in the name of Jesus. Father, anoint me with overflowing grace. Pray that prayer for yourself. In this month of September, the Lord is ready to anoint you. The Lord is ready to anoint you. The Lord is ready to anoint you. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. It is the prayer that you have prayed that God will answer. If there is a man that can pray, there is a God that answer. And he answer in an overflowing manner. Father, anoint me with overflowing grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want you to lift up your bottle of oil. Now, I'm going to be praying on that bottle of oil and immediately I pray on them. You can go ahead and anoint your family. And when you anoint your family, then you can go ahead and pray some other prayers. What you want to overflow in, in this month of September and the rest of this ember month. And as you pray, heaven will respond it speedily there's no going to be any more delay in your life in jesus name father lord i connect myself with the feet of these your children wherever they are lord the oil in their hand because 
time and space cannot limit the ability of your word. Distance cannot stop the efficacy of the power that is in, the, in your word. So the word that you have put in my mouth this moment, I send to everywhere and everyone that is holding that oil in faith. Father, let the power of the Holy Ghost enter into that oil and make it an extraordinary oil that we anoint your people for an overflow in the name of Jesus. Everything that this oil touches, oh God, let there be an overflow in the name of Jesus. There will be overflow of joy in your home. There will be overflow of peace in your home. There will be overflow of provision in your home. There will be overflow of wealth in your home. There will be overflow of peace in your home. The blessing of God will flow into your life. Will flow into your home. Will flow through your home to everyone that comes in contact with you. In this month of September, you will not die but you will live to declare the glory of God. Every embargo over your finance, over your fa family, over your business, they are lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere you go in this month of September, favor will flow to your direction. There will be an explosion of answered prayers in the name of Jesus. Everything good that has been bottled before now, from January to August, I declare them open unto you in the name of Jesus. Let the heaven pour his rain over your life, the rains of blessing, and there shall be overflow. So shall it be, and so will it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you believe the word that has come to you, I want you to say a better amen. Amen. God bless you real good in the name of Jesus. Go into this month with confidence. It's a month that we overflow. Your result is coming. And that result will cancel every insult that has come into your life in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that when you are entering into the realm of overflow, you can sow your seed also. This is the beginning of a new month. It's the beginning of a new season. I want you to package something. Don't delay. Don't delay. Package something now. Do it as early as you can now. Do it now. Package something to sow as a seed of overflow. Get ready. Prepare yourself for what, what God wants to do. Prepare. God is not your... No, you, are, you cannot pay for what God is about to do. But you can express to God that, yes, Lord, I believe you. I have faith. And this can be shown through what you want to give to the Lord. So you can see the number, the account number scrolling on the screen. Please go ahead and sow your seed as the seed of overflow into this ember month. And the seed that will cancel every embargo that has been placed on your business. Even you that your business has been hanging in the pot is about the time for you to be released. So give your offering. And as you do that, God Almighty will bless you. So go ahead and anoint your, the members of your family. And also be reminded that this evening we are going to be having our online digging deep also. On Thursday, we're going to be joining our Father and the Lord for the Holy Communion by 7 p.m. And also, I believe there's going to be faith healing by 6.30 p.m. On Friday, it's going to be awesome. It's another time for the Holy Ghost service. And this coming Sunday is the first Sunday in the calendar year of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And the first Sunday in the Ember month in September. It's going to be awesome. Because we are going to take time to celebrate God that has brought us thus far and celebrate the God of overflow. I want you to package yourself. Tell your friend that has not been in church that yes, the church has opened and we are going to be having our three services for the celebration. The youth service are going to be commencing by 7.30 a.m. and also by 9.15 a.m. we are going to be having the second service and by 10.15 we are going to be having the third service. Come with an expectation. Come with your dancing shoe and your story will change for better in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom.